So then you, you stop Formula One. I think you do some uh, sports car racing for a, a bit, and then you come okay. over to IndyCar. I remember the 1989 Indy 500, which to me uh, had to be like the most exciting finish. You and little Al yes. duking it out um, to win Indy. What was that like, the, the, the finish? And then obviously little Al got out of the car and uh, it was like, what, what hand gestures is he giving you? What, what, what was that fight like? How did you, you know, when, when he got past you, did you think I've just lost it? Or you knew you could get him back? Well, take us through those final laps of the 1989 Indy 500. You know, I was leading most of the race and the last pit stop uh, should be a splash and go. There's no many laps. And Pat Patrick was so nervous, asked to fill up the car. And then when I come out, I see little Al faster than me coming, coming, overtook me, three laps to go. And I said, I'm going to lose. I cannot lose it now. You know, the last three laps. And then he got traffic coming out of turn two, a lapping people. And he got side by side. And he pushed me down, not to take the right line to turn three. And Zach, going down on the street, I looked to him like he had race on the street, you know, he, and he looked to me like we need one mile more to get ahead, but we come side by side in turn three. I had no the proper line and they said, I'm not going to back off. I didn't back off and I'm sure Junior didn't back off. Yeah. And mid corner, my car slide the back end, just touch Junior. Uh, and I come out of the car and I saw he crashing and I called Jim McGee. I said, McGee, how he's doing? He said, Emerson, he's okay, he's out of the car. I said, thanks God, you know, he didn't get injured. And then the uh, next lap I come in, he give the send up <laughs> and later he come to the garage to congratulate me. Yeah, yeah. But what I say in racing, I would do what he was doing to me. Yeah. And if you build my place, he's going to do exactly what I did. Yeah. It, it was, was a racing, it was, but it was an incredible good, finish. Clean racing. I, 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 one of the things I've always admired about you and, and Little Al, I was a Little Al fan, how hard you raced. Yes. You were really clean. You see yes. some drivers today are running people off the track, and so you, you fought hard, but it was clean. Yeah. And that turns me to what was probably the best uh, duel I've ever seen in racing which was the 1993 Cleveland Grand Prix. You and Nigel, Nigel yes. slugging it out like yes. two heavyweights, just going at it yes. clean. Yes. And just, I remember that race yes. and, and you and Nigel just running side yes. by side, swapping positions, clean and, and hard. But Nigel was a, a, a clean driver and he a was. fierce competitor. What, what was, that must've been, Fun. I, I do not remember this. I remember that, that really was, well. I always, every time I see Nigel, remember Cleveland. Yeah. Because we exchanged seven times positions, three laps. Yeah, it was amazing. And uh, we used every inch of the, the track, you know, try to on the limit and uh, always respecting the, his his car. Yeah. And he respected me. Yeah. And it was incredible dice. That was, a, I always say, the best dice of my life. Ah, that was amazing. It was it was clean. You never touched, yes, but yes. it was it had you yes. on the edge of your seat yes. for for three laps. It yes. was uh, uh, it was an awesome, uh, awesome race.